Okay guys, we have a gazillion million little pieces of a lot of projects to finish. So like we're kind of in the middle of stuff. So Todd is working, 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 and we are desperately trying to get done. I'm not working, I'm done. looking for tools. Okay. I spend more time doing that than working. <laughs> but we have one week before we're supposed to be leaving. So now we're going to just be getting stuff done. All those little pieces of those projects that just aren't completed. Previously on Spoon Drifter, we spent three years in a boatyard bringing our 40-year-old hurricane damaged sailboat back to life. Todd, I, and four of our 10 kids knew nothing about boats when we started. But with time, we have repowered, re-rigged, and turned this boat into a home that's nearly ready for the next big adventure. We spent this summer learning to sail and adding the last essential pieces before we sail to Florida and leave the U.S. for bluer waters. All right. So I'm working on the autopilot. So I got the autopilot, and you can see it's got all these little pins on the back side of it. So most of the pins are pretty small. The only one that's big is this one that says 12 volt. That's power in. The one that says drive right here is power out. And that one goes all the way to the back of the boat to the hydraulic pump. So what they have done was they have taken this eight gauge wire. So I got eight gauge wire right here. They've spliced it down to probably a 12 or 10 maybe and then they've crimped on these little teeny tiny connectors that fit in this little teeny tiny hole on those guys and that goes you know I don't know 15 feet 20 feet to the back so I'm replacing all of that with new wire so I'm gonna have to try to find a connector hopefully that I can connect my like eight gauge wire directly to one of those small connectors, which I don't know if I can. I may have to go to a uh, terminal block in order to make that change because this is not a good way to do it anyway. You know, trying to crimp two different diameters of wire together, unless you have a, a uh, crimp connector that is designed that way, that it's not a good idea to use the same big connector like the eight gauge one and then try to fit it around a wire half the size. That just doesn't work. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'll figure it out. But I gotta start by pulling the wire out. Okay, so I gotta run that to the autopilot on this end. And then uh, we will cut that and then run it to the supply at the breaker box. I'm gonna use a uh, eight gauge all the way. Don't wanna starve the autopilot, right? He, he needs to be fed well, so make sure he's got plenty of oomph. What are you doing, dearest? Going up the water tank. Remember me saying the water was dry? No, I missed that. I hear this vibration and I thought the motor was running and I shut off the bilge pump and it's coming from our thing so it was the water pump was just running wild. No water pressure. The tank was empty. Alright, so what are we up to today? <sighs> About five, five and a half, same as always. Haven't grown an inch in years. I need to try to shrunk. <laughs> Some things have shrunk. My belly. Yes. Um, Nope. Autopilot. Working on that kind of stuff. So we stupid connector I can't find anywhere in town. I have to order it online. What he's not telling you is we just spent four hours driving around to multiple places who told us they had it. And then when we got there, it was not the right thing. Despite sending pictures and being very detailed about what we wanted. This is what happens when you start working on a boat in the early morning. Look, the sheets, the blankets move by themselves. I'm putting the autopilot compass up there by the mizzen mast, which is 
aluminum, so it's non-metallic. All right, so autopilot's gonna come down here and then follow the rest of the cords from the mizzen mast through the floor and forward where they need to go. May need to get the child out of bed before I can do that though. Good morning, Denali. How are you? Yes? Are you ready to go outside? Please, 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 please. You want me to take you? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hey. Cat says she's ready to go. Can you hear me? I've said yeah. something to you three yes, times. Yes, I am busy filming a dog. And a cat. Okay, well you need to come. I can't find my glasses. Those aren't important. <laughs> when you're Who needs to be able to see on a boat, right? So I just discovered that Todd put the compass in the wrong place. He forgot. What? You forgot something. I forgot what? That you have to put that compass lower in the boat. Why? It's supposed to be low center of the boat. It is. It's below the mast. It's 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 taller below than, the top of the mast. It's taller than you. It's are. way below the top of the mast. <laughs> <laughs> it's taller than you are. Do I need to get the manual out again? You can get the manual out, but it shouldn't be in the bilge because we don't want it to get wet. If you take on water, you don't want it to get wet, so it needs to be above this floor at least. What I'm saying, not going below the floor. All right. Plus, I can't get the wire anyway. All right, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Come on. Get out of bed. If only I knew where that one inch hole saw went. <laughs> you know where it is. Last night I said, you're going to be asking me where that one inch hole saw is. It's right here. <laughs> you just put them all over the place. No, uh, no, no. Somebody knocked over the bag and they went everywhere. That's what happened. Okay. Liberty. You want to go for a ride? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. To Ace. Because we have another piece or a part that we're missing that we need. Here? Yeah, just down the street. Okay? We'll be back in a minute. You guys will all be up, right? They'll be up doing their chores, right? <laughs> Maybe they'll be up. This place is such a wreck. Always. Just. Not always. It's been clean before. <sighs> Stays that way for about a day and a half. Then we do boat projects again. The boat looks like a bomb hit it. It's so unreal. Is it always that way? I'm hoping there's a point at which it stops being like this. <laughs> I'd really like to enjoy boat life just like with a clean boat. Yeah. Without projects everywhere. It's a nice day today. Catching some sun finally. Solar panels are kicking into high gear again. We were down to 70% on our batteries because the, uh, oh, what, since uh, probably Monday night, so it's been three and a half, four days, we've been. Uh, either raining or totally cloud covered. So today's this first day of sun. So it looks like we're using about 10, 12% of our batteries a day. Let's attempt to go fish. So I got that through there, but now I need to grab it here. That's going to be the hard part. Let's see if I can see it with my flashlight. Aha! Abigail, come here. Can you reach your hand in there and grab that for me? If you look straight over, you can, can you see the white wire? Huh? Can you reach in and grab it and pull it out that hole? No. Huh? 
where your hand won't fit? No. Oh, I thought you had a small enough hand. Aha! Got it. We'll just do that. Put a strain relief on that wire right there. Call that good for those. All right, I think I've decided to take all of these little teeny wires and crimp new connectors onto them because these don't look like they're in great shape and cut this back to some new fresh wire. I got my crimp pieces. Unfortunately, I can't find these uh, 0.110 wide quick connects in a heat shrink tubing so they're all just your standard nylon so I'm gonna have to add my own heat shrink tubing on top of them. I got my, my strippers, my cutters, my crimpers for non-heat shrink, some heat shrink tubing, and a label maker. All right so I'm gonna heat shrink this guy on here now. One! <laughs> So that seems like that's going to work. I'm not going to bore you with the details, especially since the dolphin people are coming and they're going to talk over you. So we'll check in with you in a minute. So I got the compass wires, the rudder wires, and they are all going to have to plug in right here. If I didn't explain it, I don't know if I did. If, if I if I didn't from the drive back to the back of the boat to the hydraulic pump is all eight gauge wire and you can't get a connector in that 0.110 wide pin that will fit eight gauge wire so what I did was I brought it into a terminal block which is right here so I got a terminal block right here eight gauge goes back to the rudder from there and from that terminal block up to the autopilot it will have to be 10 gauge wire. The flurry of activity continues on the saga of getting the boat ready in um, we're talking really literally we're supposed to be leaving in like six days but it's going to be a little longer than that because we got a big northerner coming through that's going to last two or three days and kick up some uh, High winds, cold weather, lots of rain, and so we're probably gonna wait till that's passed. But I did get the last of the connections for the autopilot. This is eight gauge wire. This is actually a 12 gauge connector I found out after I bought it on Amazon, because I can't find them anywhere in a quarter inch quick connect, um, eight gauge wire. It's a 1210 wire that has been um, formed on a die to fit 8 gauge wire. So it's just hard to find the right stuff. But um, I have heat shrink this. I'm going to put dielectric grease on it. I'm going to connect it to the autopilot. That will get the helm station taken care of. The last of the connections in there. Then I can hook the same 8 gauge wire up down below at the breaker and voila, theoretically, the autopilot should work. This guy out. Fun. Ta-da. Ta-da, all right. Got that guy all hooked up on the inside. Tidy up the inside of here a little bit. Zip tie some wires in place. I did leave the uh, eight gauge probably about a foot and a half longer than I needed. Because you just never know. Eight gauge wire is expensive and you don't want to have to add three and four or five inches to it later down the road. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll hook it up down below and we'll test it out. That. We're going to test this autopilot. 
see if it's working, see if we're losing fluid, see what we can see. Todd's going up above. And here we go. Autopilot right here. It's cold and wet outside, but we're gonna open that so maybe we can hear Todd. <laughs> on. Stand by. It's working. All right, let me go see if she says that was working or not here. You have to keep moving it. I haven't looked at everything. Todd, keep moving it. What? Keep moving it. I haven't looked at everything. Okay. She says keep moving. I can't hear you up here, so I have no idea. I guess we'll just sit up here and play around with the autopilot for a while until somebody comes up and says, hey, we're done. She says she's done. Let me go back to zero here. Okay, we found the leak. You and me, we got it. I don't know how we fix it, but at least now we have it on film so Todd can see what it's doing. And we will see you next Sunday when we continue to get ready to leave Texas.